Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Satisfactory with me, DX Phoenix, and today Right, I just need to finish one thing, I just need to... Bleh, yes And... I need more? I don't need more because I'm using the wrong one, you dozy idiot Phoenix There we go Voila Right, so I've got a lot to talk about right now in regards to all of this Right, as we can see, I have done a lot of it. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Phoenix also cannot speak. Rotors. Push that to Rotors. Have I set you to place? I have set you to place. Wonderful! Phoenix has done something right for once. Right. Run. I'm just not seeing a lot of movement in regards to stuffs. I know I've not seen a lot of movement in regards to stuff because I've not set you to iron. I've not set you to iron. Nor you. And nor you. Phoenix, you dum dum. Right then, so I have both these miners running now. They are both kicking out iron at 60 iron per minute. That is for a grand total of 120. So we have a hundred and twenty iron ore coming in. If I can actually get on to this, please. Thank you. Coming in, I have th four smelters, not three, four smelters set up because they can only smelt thirty iron ore each. So that's pumping out. It's going out, hitting splitters as well. Well, at least these first two are here. These splitters are divided into fifteen because these constructors can only turn fifteen. Um, ingots into rods and i believe it is 15 rods yes 15 rods so basically one ingot per rod it can only these can only do 15 rods fantastic we'll be getting into what the rods will be used for in a moment i've got these ones kicking out iron are you not phoenix you absolute dirt No clearance. There is clearance. We just have clearance. Am I in? Am I the one? I am the one, aren't I? No, you. But it's that. That is the right way, isn't it? Yes. Oh, wonderful. Right. All going into you, and you strike you over to here. Right, you. That, you bring that. Wonderful. You'll also be kicking out the bars. Right, so these two smelters, as I was saying. God damn it, Phoenix. These two ingot, uh, these two smelters are kicking out 30 bars each as well, going into these constructors. These constructors are turning the 30 bars into 20 um, plates, because it can do three bars into two plates per minute. Fantastic. I'm just double checking one more thing, but I do not go crazy. Right, and we are needing 30 of these plates. So I have th these 30, I have basically these kicking out um, 40 plates, these 40 plates going down here. This will back stuff and going into this lovely contraption, bleh, this lovely uh, assembler, creating us um, reinforced iron plates with screws. Now we automated the screw production yesterday, not yesterday. What am I talking about? Last time. Now, speaking of the screw production, voila. Have I not set you to rotors? Not only have I not set I did set you to rotors, you know what I didn't do? 
give you power so you can start producing. Did I mention that um, Phoenix has been a dum dum today? Right, now back to these four constructors over here. Right, as we know, these are getting 15 uh, ingots per minute, turning them into 15 bars per minute. That is fantastic. But I kind of fell into a problem because I, I needed 60, oh, uh, 60 rods and I needed to create 160 screws. Now, 10 bars become 40 screws so i just needed four constructors creating screws i just needed 40 going into blah so what i did was combine these two 15s into one splitter for 30 that could do four of these like so and then i had this one and that one combine into another 30 going into here this can only do 10 so it won't back stuff but instead it's going to go up this um, uh, conv conveyor elevator and along the this section and the reason it's um, elevated all the way along to here is because it does need to go over here to get over there there would be an overlap of um, conveyors so I decided to use our stackable conveyor pole to run it over fantastic so that's how we got the screws moving and the only thing is this produces 40 screws i need 60 going into that thing so all i did was as one of them split it coming there so 40 into 20 and then added that 20 to two other 40s like so because this could do this needs 100 screws to do the full four rotors per minute now this will do the full four rotors per minute the only thing that i have a back stuff of is plates which I'm perfectly fine with. I can cope with a backstop for plates. I mean iron plates at that. So, this falls into my next thing. This thing will actually... hold those for me. Thank you very much. I will have those reinforced plates. Because I need the reinforced plates for the next thing, which is what we're going to be getting into. And I've rambled on long enough, but I needed you guys to know what I had done. Um... I will also leave in the description below the satisfactory calculator for what has helped me work this whole system out with giving me a 15, it was basically I'm going to have 15 iron all left over which is going to be 10 um, plates. Right so now we need another assembler and it's going to go here it is not going to go there because that is too close for that one so we're going to put it a bit further down all the way down all the way down being there wonderful all right so this can produce four rotors per minute and this lovely contraption here can produce five um, plates per minute. Right. This now comes to the thing of I'm wanting to create some smart plating and smart plating requires two reinforced and two rotors to create two plates per minute. Have that. You can have them for being such a good thingy. And take that for now. Right, so what I need to do is I'm going to need to just logistics splitter. But uh or do I? Do I need to do that? No, I'm not gonna put the splitter there just yet. What I am gonna do is grab you, flip you round, so you go like so. I'm putting these here like just So that I can just use the splitters in line with them. Ah. So. 
so. You can go in there like so. You can go in there. That brings me to this part. Run this all the way down. Can you make it? No, you're probably too long, so I'll bring you to there. Go there like so. You can go into there. There's some rotors going out. Wonderful. You can then have my organizational storage. Getting you out. Here is the smart plating, and that is fantastic. What that will be doing is creating a smart plating, and smart plating is something we will be needing very, very shortly. So we've already enhanced the... Um, we've already gotten up to the reinforced iron plates. Fantastic, that's running down. That took me forever to do. Um... Screws are now running into here. I've had to jig this around, but this is now running. This is running at um, what near of one hundred percent efficiency. That is how well that is running. I mean, you could just like have a couple more of those in there and be happy. Yeah. That is fantastic. This is running. This will back stuff on those, but it will just chuck anything else into there, just like this could. Yeah. So you are now producing our smart plating. That is absolutely fantastic. We have everything we need for that section. That looks like a nice little bit of barren wasteland to me. I've also had to add some more of these and get ready to bump that up even more. Grab you, because barrel nuts are always useful. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. Right, so, two things that we are going to need now. First one is, um, I want the man. I need reinforced plates, of course I do. So, this is something I needed the reinforced plates for. Thank you, one of those. Because I want the man. And the man is going to go... Just here. When I say just here, I mean just. Right, so ma'am means I can look at these. Fantastic. Look at the petals. Look at mycelia and look at nutrients. I could do unknown metal. Could do strange energy readings and all other wonderful things. And hard drive. Okay. So the MAM is useful. The next thing I'm going to need, because if I just run my backside back over to here, in order to get to this, I need to complete stage one of Space Elevator, or phase one of Space Elevator. Well, I don't know you should say that. I have a ton of stuff here. What could I possibly need with 400 rods, 500 concrete, 1,500 wire, and I cannot remember how many plates. I think it was 200. That's right. It's a space elevator, ladies and gentlemen. And it is going to go. Because this thing is bloody huge. Right here. And because it's huge, I'm going to put it really close as well. Look at that. That thing is huge up there. Look at that beast. Down you come. Uh, 
Just wow. Alright, space elevator. It requires 50 smart plating. Yeah, you notice how I said I need some smart plating? Well, yeah, I know why. I'm at 12. I'm currently at 12 smart plates. This thing can do two per minute. It takes 30 seconds to create a smart plate. I do not think I can speed that up. I do think that requires the assembler. Yeah, I cannot craft a smart plate. It has to be done in that. Which, you know, I am producing enough from both of these to have this running twice over. I could have like another one above it running at the same time. That means also building that way. Hmm. No. Right, so we've done a lot of work towards this already. 15. This is going to take us a while. This is definitely going to take us a little while. Um, nutrients. I don't think I can do much with this. Well, I could. I have everything, don't I? I think I have all of that. Hey, Reva. Uh, I definitely have you. I have you. I have. I don't. I, no, I don't. I don't have everything. I've lied to myself. I have mycelium. I have silica. What can I do with you right now? What can I research? On the metal. Can't do that just yet. Could do that, but I'm. I don't really want to do that part. I mean, flower petals were good, but it's just that's just working towards die. I haven't found them. Pale berries. Ooh, Seventeen. Yeah, we are taking a while. A very long time. I know what I can do with a man. And it goes with something we saw. Right, the last thing I'm going to do is come down here. There's a beastie around here somewhere. I know there is. There. That annoying creature. Come on, I know you want to fight. Ow. Right, organs. Oh, power slug. Nice. My power slug. This semi slug seems to emit unfamiliar energy readings, which could potentially be retrofitted into fix it technology. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Why, thank you, Ada. Another slug up there. Slug up there. If you look around, the best time to actually find these slugs, because they glow at night, is at night time. I mean, finding these power slugs will be a lot more helpful. Right, power slugs. Unknown metal. Research. Alright, analyzing power slugs is complete. Please choose a new node. Nice, so we can overclock. So research available in the MAM. Thank you.
Let's start that research. So we're scanning slugs. It means we'll be able to scan for them using the object scanner. I don't think I have any... Oh, I do. I can now grab... One of you. Put you in half you in there, wonderful. I'll be able to scan these as well, in the map. I do believe the man can only do one thing at a time. Yes, it can. Can only do one thing at a time. But, spoiler alert, these are just basically um, biomass. That's what it gives you, but we can look at the other thing a different time. Wow, there's one slug up there. Oh, I need to get up there at some point. One up there. One up there. One up there. As you can see, it's getting dark. I'm able to see them a lot easier. Pick them out. Good thing to do. Climb this. See, there's one over there. There's also, I'm not sure if that is... Is that green? I can't tell if that's green anymore. Oh, wow. That's a lot of production. We've done really well this episode, and I'm going to call it here, ladies and gentlemen. And, whoa. That does not get any smaller. <laughs> this thing, I will say, is visible from near enough everywhere. That, is, that makes a nice beacon. Oh, man, research complete. New object added to the object scanner. Thank you, Ada. You take like three seconds. Biomass. Biomass. I think I need to spend three of those to get more, and ten of those to do the next stage down. So that's not too bad. We could do that because I don't have any use for the alien drops. Right, so, ladies and gentlemen, that's all for now because I'm at 25 smart plating. I need another 23 in order to continue what I need for this and unlock stage three. Is it just stage three it unlocks? Let me have a look. No, three and four I will unlock. And that is important to me because that allows me to get to coal and things. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode and I hope it's helped. Again, the description in the description, not the description, in the description below if you are stuck on how to optimize um, the best route for the uh, basically the um, smart plating or just optimizing screws and uh, not screws, rotors and reinforced plates. I will put the calculator in the description below. Um, it is something I will be using a lot more just for me to get the idea of how I need to split things because otherwise this is a lot of calculation. Um, on my behalf and it saves a lot of time you can just look at it and think right I know how to do that then you can just start planning everything else accordingly and well this is the result of it as you can see it's efficient in regards to this thing's always got this one's this thing is fully stocked all the time and that is producing like five plates at a time So any plates it doesn't use, if we go into here, or that thing starts stock, that thing start fill, begins to fill up. Phoenix cannot talk anymore. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. Take care, and I hope you've enjoyed the episode. If you have, please hit like, share, and subscribe. Also, comment down below if there's anything I have missed, or if you know of anything close by that I should be using or should be um, picking up other than the other copper node which I know is over there 
um, let me know, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.